a thousand-year-long winter. You know how in Game of Thrones they say, Winter is coming. And everyone panics for generations? The Younger Dryas was that kind of winter, but in real life. Except this one didn't just last for a season, it lasted over a millennium. A real Ice Age style reset button on civilization. In this video, you will learn about a strange climate disaster called the Younger Dryas. This event pushed Earth back into an Ice Age, may have caused the collapse of early human groups, and might even be linked to ancient Indian flood legends, like Manu's Ark. By the end, you'll know how this prehistoric freeze may have changed the course of human history, and why no one talks about it. Welcome to Beyond 5000, where we decode the world before recorded history. We're talking about a time when the Earth was coming out of the Ice Age. Glaciers were melting. Life was bouncing back. Humans were moving into new regions, settling down, and even experimenting with growing food, especially in places like the Fertile Crescent. But suddenly, the warming stopped. In just a few decades, the Earth became cold again. Very cold. This wasn't a normal climate change. It was a huge shock to the system. Scientists call it the Younger Dryas, and it caused a drop in global temperatures by up to 10 degrees Celsius in some areas. It may have changed how and where people lived forever. So what caused it? How bad was it? And how does it connect to India's ancient flood stories? The Younger Dryas began around 10,900 BCE and lasted for about 1,200 years. Before this, Earth had been warming slowly for thousands of years. Massive ice sheets covering North America and Europe were melting. These ice sheets were up to three kilometers thick. As the ice melted, sea levels rose by over 100 meters compared to the peak of the Ice Age. In areas like the Fertile Crescent, modern-day Iraq, Syria, and Turkey, people started farming plants like wheat and barley. In India, archaeological evidence shows that hunter-gatherers were forming stable communities along rivers. Places like the Pandar Hills and the Ganges Valley were full of life. But then, something went very wrong. Temperatures in the Northern Hemisphere dropped sharply, especially around Greenland where the ice cores show a 10 degree Celsius decrease in just a few decades. In India, the monsoon system weakened. This likely caused rivers to dry up, crops to fail, and communities to move or collapse. This cold period lasted longer than three major empires of Indian history combined, the Mauryas, the Mughals, and the British. Yet, Scientists still don't fully agree on what caused it. Let's now look at the leading theories. The Comet Impact Some scientists believe a giant comet or asteroid either exploded in the sky or crashed into the Laurentide Ice Sheet in North America. This would have caused massive wildfires across continents. The smoke and dust would block sunlight and cool the Earth quickly. There's a strange black layer in the soil called the Younger Dryas Boundary Layer, found in more than 50 locations worldwide. It contains nanodiamonds, magnetic particles, and carbon spherules, all signs of extreme heat. These are only created by things like impacts or massive fires. The Glacial Lake Flood, another theory says that a huge glacial lake called Lake Agassiz, which held more fresh water than all the Great Lakes combined, suddenly burst through melting ice dams. This released around 163,000 cubic kilometers of fresh water into the North Atlantic Ocean. This messed with the Gulf Stream, a major ocean current that helps regulate Earth's climate. Without this warm current, Europe Asia and other regions cooled rapidly. Some scientists think both events could have happened together, one after the other, causing a double disaster. Either way, the result was the same. 
You know how in Game of Thrones they say, Winter is coming. And everyone panics for generations? The younger Dryas was that kind of winter, but in real life. Except this one didn't just last for a season, it lasted over a millennium. A real Ice Age style reset button on civilization. Let's now come closer to home, India. Ancient Indian texts like the Rigveda, the Satapatha Brahmana, and the Puranas describe a pralaya, or great flood. There is the famous story of Manu, a wise king who is warned by a talking fish, an avatar of Vishnu, about a coming flood. Manu builds a large boat, saves sages, animals, and seeds, and survives. This story is shockingly similar to flood myths from other ancient civilizations. The Sumerians had the story of Ziusudra, the Babylonians had Utnapishtim, and the Hebrew Bible gave us Noah. What if these weren't just symbolic stories? What if they were ancestral memories of real events, massive floods caused by melting glaciers and rising seas? During the Younger Dryas, coastal areas could have been submerged rapidly. In India, there are mysterious underwater ruins near Dwarka, and the dried-up riverbed of the Saraswati River, which some believe disappeared due to extreme climate changes. These may be leftovers from this forgotten chapter of history. Some scientists believe Younger Dryas delayed the rise of cities and organized civilization by thousands of years. And maybe it inspired the flood stories that many ancient cultures still tell today. What we think of as mythology could actually be distorted history. And as we face climate change today, the Younger Dryas teaches us something important. Nature does not always give warnings. And if we don't learn from the past, history might repeat itself. So, what do you think really caused the Younger Dryas? Was it a comet? A mega flood? Or is there still a hidden part of the story we haven't found yet? Let us know in the comments. We love hearing your ideas and theories. If you enjoyed this deep dive, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this with a friend who loves ancient mysteries. Next time, we'll dive into the lost rivers of India and what secrets they might still hold under the sand. Until then, keep asking questions. This is Beyond 5000, where ancient history comes alive.